Tilipinu and the Sea God's Daughter One day, the Sea God found himself quarreling with the Sun God. In his fury, the Sea God dragged his rival from the sky to hide him away in the ocean depths. With the sun's disappearance, the land was plunged into darkness. This caused the crops to fail, and famine and hardship reigned. The storm god Teshub called to his eldest son, Tilipinu. You must go to the sea where you will find the sun god. Bring him back so that we can return him to the sky. Tilipinu obeyed his father and journeyed to the sea. Seeing the young god draw near, the sea god grew afraid and offered Tilipinu his daughter in marriage before handing over the kidnapped sun god. Tilipinu returned to the earth with his bride and positioned the sun god in the sky. With the sun's light and warmth, the crops grew again, livestock bred and humankind thrived. But that was not the end. The sea god sent a river with a message to Teshub. Your son Tilipinu took my daughter away with him as his wife. What bride price are you going to pay me? Teshub returned to the mother goddess Hana Hana for advice. The sea god is demanding his bride price, he told her. Should I give it to him? Hana Hana's response was clear. Of course, she said. Tilipinu took his daughter. The sea god is entitled to his payment. So Teshub gave the sea god a thousand cattle and a thousand sheep, and thus harmony was restored.